Hi there! In this video I will explain to you how to shoot manually with the Sony HXR NX80. The reason to start filming in manual settings is so you can have better control of the camera, to make your footage look even better. Down below you can see the time codes for the topics discussed in this video. If you want to skip to a different topic, just go to the indicated time code. To turn on manual mode, make sure the switch on the back of the camera is set to manual. Now that you've made sure that your camera is set to manual mode, you are able to adjust settings like the iris, white balance, shutter speed and more. But first, let's start with manual focus. Manual focus is useful when you want to focus on something in the foreground of your shot. It's also used to make cool focus pulls, like this. While filming manually, you can be in full control of what's in focus in your shot. To do so, you can use the focus ring on the front of the camera. Make sure the zoom and focus switch on the left side of the camera is set to focus though. Otherwise, the camera won't focus, but zoom in instead. Another button you have to press before shooting in manual focus is the AF MF1 on the front side of the camera. To check if the switch is flipped to the right setting and the camera is set to manual focus mode, See if the icon with the hand is showing on the display. If you want to go back to autofocus instead, just press the AFMF button again. There's a very useful option on the camera that will certainly come in handy called peaking. This makes the object that you have in focus red on the display. This way you can make sure that your subject is completely in focus. To turn on this option, go to menu, scroll down to display settings and choose peaking. From this menu you can turn the peaking on and off. You can even choose which color and intensity the peaking should be. The white balance basically means what the camera sees is the color white. Sometimes the colors of the camera might seem a little off. The footage might look too blue or too orange. When this happens, the white balance isn't set right. The camera sets the white balance automatically, but it's certainly possible to adjust it in the manual settings. To do this, go into the menu, go to camera set and scroll down to WB set. Now you're in the white balance set menu, which basically means the camera will calculate the white balance. To do this, hold up a white piece of paper in front of the subject that you're filming and hit execute by pressing the button on the back of the camera. Now your white balance is exactly how you want it to be. The shutter speed should be on 100 by default. But if you want to shoot something in motion, for example flowing water, it could be beneficial to increase the shutter speed. Why? Because with a higher shutter speed you can see more detail. You will have a more clear image when you're shooting something that's moving at a fast pace. Another example is a powerpoint presentation. You might see the light of the projector flickering on your screen. When this happens you have to change the shutter speed. This varies from situation to situation, so play around with the settings until the light stops flickering. To do this, press the shutter speed button and turn the wheel on the left side of the camera. This will give you control of the settings. On screen you can see what the shutter speed is. Just keep in mind that the shutter speed of 100 is best, unless you want to shoot something fast paced or with heavy lighting. You can compare the iris with the pupil in your eye. By adjusting the iris, you can control the amount of light entering the camera. In other words, you can control the exposure. You can adjust the iris by pressing the button on the left side of the camera and scrolling the wheel. Please make sure your footage isn't overexposed. When in doubt, it's safer to shoot a little bit too dark than too light. If your video is too dark, we can fix it quite well in the edit. But if it's overexposed, there's no information to recover, so there's nothing we can do. The Sony HXR NX80 also contains an ND filter. What is an ND filter? ND stands for Neutral Density, or a polarizing filter for your camera. Simply put, the ND filter is a pair of sunglasses for your camera. When filming inside, make sure that the slide on the back of the camera is set to clear. This means that the ND filter is turned off. When it's really sunny outside, you should turn on your ND filter to prevent your shot from being overexposed. 
That's it. Now you know how you can film in manual settings. Easy as one, two, three. Good luck. Bye-bye.